What's going on fellas? I wanted to show you guys some of my findings regarding propane regulators and I wanted to share with you a little tip that I've learned over the years of messing with all these fittings and stuff um, that you guys might find useful. If you've ever wanted to use these braided hoses that they sell at like Menards and stuff like that, these quarter inch um, straight threads, they're not pipe threads, will fit on compression fittings. If you buy an eighth inch MIP by quarter inch compression, this thread will fit directly on those braided hoses. Pretty convenient little thing for when you need to hook stuff up like that. I have uh, managed to do some testing today where I used an air compressor regulator for a propane regulator because not only are they half the cost, but they come with the pressure gauge. So you know what setting you're actually at. Let me show you what we got here. This is a $20 high flow propane regulator and um, doesn't have a pressure gauge and I don't think the, the flow rate is as high as a pneumatic regulator would be. One more thing I wanted to show you before I forget. Also, if you get a 3 16th compression, these threads will fit pipe threads, your, your eighth inch pipe threads. Now, this isn't a pipe thread, so it doesn't have the conical shape, but it will fit into eighth inch fittings and stuff. So, let me show you what we got here. For instance, if you have like valves, stuff like this, a lot of these types of valves don't necessarily have pipe threads. They have um, just these straight threads. And you can connect these fittings to that type of basically that's an eighth inch 24 threads per inch thread. This right here is an eighth inch pipe thread or national pipe thread, NPT. And this is just a standard eighth inch thread here. But a pipe thread will not fit inside these type of valves. So just a little trick. I also wanted to, and just on another note, if you did decide you ever wanted to do that you definitely want to get your hands on one of these threads when you're working with this kind of stuff this is a 7 16 24 threads per inch notice it says special thread you cannot buy this in a store you have to order this thing online i got the tap on the way actually but i do a lot of oil burner nozzle builds and sometimes i get solder on my threads so it'd be nice to have a tap to clean that off with. In addition to that, I often will tap out pieces of pipe, like this down here, so that I can connect these fittings inside of pieces of tubing with the end cut off. So I can make custom made connections that will then fit right to a standard pipe thread the reason I do that is um, you can't get these right here the eighth inch NPT to connect to these quarter inch connectors they're not compatible so just something to, to share with you guys I thought you'd find that to be cool and I have seen some guys have made entire videos over the subject of propane regulators. There's two types of propane regulators. So if you're doing anything high flow, they say to get this. But um, for $20, that's kind of a rip off. If you have any input 
on what's going on other than lawsuits and insurance regulations let me know what you think about doing this now i would never do this on something that ran a furnace on a home or nothing like that i also want to point out one other thing anytime you buy any of these propane fittings they often have a special safety valve in here a rupture valve to where if this hose were to rupture or a hole were to be burnt into this hole and a sudden high flow is allowed there is a little um overflow valve in here that will shut off like it'll act as a check valve in one direction it'll allow a little bit of flow but if you try to go too fast it'll close itself too much flow will shut it off so most propane equipment with this knob like this has that feature and you have to drill it out with a drill bit otherwise you're not going to get the high flow benefits of this regulator my main objective in doing this was the fact that it's ten dollars and it comes with a gauge i want to know specific settings i don't i mean i'm not really sure what i'm supposed to do with this thing here sure you can look at the flame but I need to document and log certain settings. I, I can't just go off, turn it three quarters and look due east. I don't know. So anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys. This is a 7 16 24 threads per inch. That's what these braided hoses use. So you see here, this fitting here is just a quarter inch with a quarter inch compression. And that quarter inch compression fitting has that 7 16 24 threads per inch end on it that we need. And these braided hoses are nice for safety. It's a lot harder to accidentally burn through them. And um, I've been using them a lot in my builds lately for a lot of the stuff that I do. They're nice. A lot better than barb fittings and all that retarded jazz. I used to be like the barb fitting type of guy with a hose clamp on there. But uh, that's a big no-no on gas. So $11 for this. I'll put, leave the link in the description actually. Um, one thing I, I do know is it's not a good idea to chintz on stuff like this. I usually try to find the, the medium price range. Find a good tap set is just a nightmare these days. fellas if you're running a forge or a foundry or just using a lot of propane somewhere a fish fry or whatever and you find yourself battling a regulator just go grab a pneumatic regulator I'll let you know how it goes in the comment sections if anything blows up later but for the most part I think I'm gonna be just fine with that thing I am gonna swap that gauge out for like a um, 20 psi gauge 
so I get a better reading in the lower end of the spectrum because it's kind of hard to look at one PSI on a 200 PSI gauge. But for the most part now I can document what settings are doing what and things like that. So good deal. Hope you guys uh, find that information useful. If anything, just the fittings information should help some of you guys out. I was kind of, felt like a retard for not knowing that all these years. <laughs>